headed to the top of another soda summit this morning. It's Whiskey 7 stroke WH195. Chucking up Mountain North, just a couple miles north of the last summit that I did. And today is QRP to the field. They've incorporated soda into this. So we count as an extra multiplier on top of this summit. So it should be a lot of fun. I've also got a KX3 in the pack, which is very exciting. Looking forward to getting some good operating time on that. Got Baker and Boyd again today trudging along. Looks like they've appointed themselves for a union break back at that last switch switchback. So it's a very steep trail today, but we're taking it easy. In no particular hurry, the contest goes on all day, so. Well, we found a spot a little bit off the path here and uh, got set up, and before I could even get the camera set up, I heard uh, w, w Soda calling and uh, gave him a call for, so first contact on the KX3 is a nice summit to summit, so great way to start the day, and we're gonna uh, continue rolling here with some more contact. Boyd, is this soda stuff bore you? <laughs> you look bored out of your mind. Yeah, it's a little buggy up here, isn't it? Well, we are about ready to wrap up and go down the hill. We have made a number of contacts. I think I count about four summit to summit contacts on the log. Been up here for a number of hours and just have had a fabulous time. Hungry, tired, but hard to put down the KX3. It's been uh, performing flawlessly all day. We've used a couple different dipoles. Uh, this dipole strung up in the trees with the center supported by this uh, fishing pole, which worked out very well. Had great signal reports today. And uh, this is N5B Special Event Station, which we just got done working. You can see the uh, CW decoder working flawlessly there. Dana was the operator's name. Special Event Station. One thing I wanted to point out is that we made our first contact at 1710. Immediately our first one was a summit to summit, which was fun. And it's uh, we, we wrapped up about uh, 2127 here a few minutes ago. And in that little over three hours, we were on the air, uh, working CW the entire time. Uh, made a few calls on sideband, but didn't get any takers. But we were on CW, and, and through that time we started off with 12.8 volts and are only down to 12.3. And that's using a 7 amp hour lead acid battery here. So KX3 did a great job. Very efficient. And the only question that the goats are now asking me is, why did they haul two batteries all the way up the hill? So lesson learned for next time. Baker.
Baker Baker. Baker would like to uh, to know why he hauled all this gear up here, and uh, yet we didn't get to talk to Rooster and Peanut. He's uh, he's a little bit peeved about that. Hopefully he won't make me carry everything home. Baker, are you not speaking to me? Nope.